What is one thing you thought existed but it actually doesn't? For all my life as a child I believed in a place called Fred's Pickle Warehouse. Every time my parents went on what I now know was a date, my dad would say they went to Fred's Pickle Warehouse and the open barrels of pickles were too dangerous for children he kept up the ruse for years and even brought back a pickle whistle one time. He told me, when I was 15 it wasn't real. When I was little I thought there were real clowns. As in, I knew there were people who dressed up as clowns, like my grandparents for instance, but then I thought there were also actual clown beings. I wasn't afraid of the regular people who just dressed up as clowns, but I was afraid of the real clowns. Does this even make sense? When I was about 4 my parents took me to the circus, and while I wasn't really scared of the clowns I was a little apprehensive. Afterwards my parents were talking to me about clowns and the circus and everything, and I said something that made it clear that I thought clowns were just another species. Like there were people, dogs, monkeys, clowns, etc. Another species, that's a good way to put it. Pretty much how I thought too. I remember going to a picnic, when I was about 5 and my mom mentioned in the car on the way, that there would be a clown there. I asked if it was going to be a real clown or a person in makeup. I bet she was confused. This didn't happen to me, but a guy I work with one told me his friend thought a pepperoni was its own animal up, until he was 20. A four-legged creature called a pepperoni. The black market. I literally thought there was a market you could go to to buy illegal items. I always pictured it as some bazaar in the Middle East where people had bins full of guns and bombs and such which they'd be willing to trade for some gold coins or a strong camel. I thought yams were animals, more specifically a crossbreed between a yak and a ram. That sounded correct in my mind until my 10th grade honors English class told me otherwise. When I was little my grandmother had a little house plant that she put marshmallows on the ends of the branches that we would pick and eat when we visited. When she left she would put mini marshmallows where we had picked the big ones and told us we had to wait for those ones to grow back. So until I was a lot older I thought that there were marshmallow trees. I used to think that everyone who had a bank account literally had like a pigeon hole with their money in it they deposited. And when someone wanted to take money out the teller, would take it from the pile of kashith he had lodged over the years. It was a sad day finding out this wasn't the way it is. I thought that those anti-gravity chambers that astronauts use in certain movies were real. It wasn't until one day in a science class we were talking about gravity and the teacher said something along the lines of there are actually people that think you can just turn off gravity using a machine like in the movies. Everyone else was just like wow there are some dumb people out there. On the outside I was saying PSSH I know right, who would ever think that? But on the inside I got no idea that it wasn't a real thing. Edit, I know about the vomit comet. But when I was younger I pictured NASA having this huge room, where they basically could just turn off the gravity inside. Counterping. Yeah, any farm kid who has ever been in a cow pasture late at night, can tell you that as cows are very observant, and will react to your presence quickly and alertly, if they don't know you, they are prey animals that herd for protection. Even if they were your cows, hand fed by you since birth. They would not just stand there, while you run into them at full speed. And heaven help you, if there is a bull in the pasture. Source, grew up on a farm, spent plenty of late night walks through the pasture being stared at and mooed at by herds of nervous bovine. My friends and I were almost trampled by a herd of 20 something cows, while trying to put a hat on one in the middle of the night. When I was a kid, I thought it would be an extremely common thing that dogs would eat cats. I used to think, if a dog saw a cat, they immediately saw food and ate them. Cordless tools drills, etc that have an attachment to use as corded when the battery dies. I'm 99% positive craftsmen had these decades ago, but they quickly died off, never to be heard from again. I've never been able to find any proof of their existence, but unless I dreamed the commercial I still remember it rather vividly. Edit, the overwhelming response in here seems to be that they exist slash existed for smaller voltages. No more than 10V. Also for weed workers apparently. This did exist, I did have the craftsman one, when I was a kid. 
Doing a little research I think the it was craftsman 315,114,500 cordless drill. I don't know if you were supposed to use it while plugged into wall power, but I would do it all the time. A city slash country capital called Arkistaki the Rakai footage in Finnish. I learned to read at the age of 4. The Godam TV News placed the label at the exact same spot with the same overlay and font as the name of the place. I think it took me like 6 years to figure that one out. Glory to Arkistakiva. The Lost City of Atlantis. Oh man. When my brother and I were 5 and 7 years old, we thought we had cracked the case when we looked at a globe and noticed there was an ocean called the Atlantic. We looked at each other with wide eyes and said that's probably where it is at the same time. That's as far as we were able to narrow the location down. That's so ducking cute and funny. Mr. President I have a couple of children on the phone that say there is something on the globe you're going to want to see. Mother of God. The often mentioned permanent record that teachers would threaten me with. You don't want this on your permanent record, so just tell us who was in on this with you. Such BS. When I was a child I asked my mum to bring me back a hoverboard from her trip to the United States. I was shattered when they told me they weren't real. Edit, they are coming this year. I get it. They are they just aren't allowed through customs. My Aunt Carol. Four years as I child my parents took phone calls from my Aunt Carol received packages from her, and would go to the office to write her letters. I heard about her so much I formed an imaginary picture of this woman in my mind. The way she looked, talked, walked, etc. Turns out Aunt Carol was parent code for weed. I have no Aunt Carol. Genovia. I'm from Geneva. I once told someone sitting next to me on a flight this. She proceeded to get very excited about this and drone on and on about the princess diaries. I didn't have the heart to tell her. You just need to confirm to her that everything in the film was true. Then take a major plot point and tell it was complete BS and what really happened resulted in a vicious civil war where the UN was forced to intervene. Yeah, Disney really whitewashed the whole thing, it was horrible. Dutchland. Very embarrassing moment in year 8 geography. Netherlands please. Deutschland? Because that exists right next door to the Netherlands. That viking helmets had horns. Now all my childhood drawings are wildly inaccurate. Same thing with pilgrims and had buckles. I thought dinosaurs were still alive. I live by a mountain range, so I always thought that dinosaurs lived on the other side of the mountains. Birds are descended from dinosaurs, so their lineage didn't exactly die out. It is hard to define dinosaur in a way that excludes birds. Not if you include non-avian in the definition. Lucky birthdays. It's the birthday when your age is the same number as the date of your birthday. It's meant to be an extra special birthday. So mine was when I was 8, as my birthday is the 8th of November. At university I exclaimed how I was jealous that my brother was celebrating his at the age of 27 and how I didn't remember mine because I was so young. Everyone looked at me like I was retarded. And that's when I discovered that my parents lied to 8 year old me to make me feel special. Edit, the worst part is that my brother, who is a doctor, went telling all the nurses that it was his lucky birthday to which they all nervously laughed. When I called him to tell him about my universe altering discovery it suddenly dawned on him what a massive pervert he must sounded like. We called them golden birthdays. I got to make a lot of inappropriate jokes when I turned 26. Well one joke a bunch of times really. Robots that can talk to you. When I learned first about robots as a kid, I thought the ones that can recognize you and talk to you etc are already there. Since I learned the computers can calculate things in seconds that would take human months. This seemed so easy in comparison. Many years later I learned the true complexity of such things and the fact that they don't exist even today. The Brontosaurus. After watching The Land Before Time, when I was a little kid I thought Littlefoot and his kin were the best s coolest dinners around, the Brontosaurus. Then I read an article a couple of years ago saying the Bronto never existed. Nope. Nah. Pterodactyl shit. It didn't it's awesome. 
Edit. Sorry for creating an extinction level event on your childhood. Jackalopes. They are real. A brisk transition from childhood to adulthood. All I got was a slow realization that things usually suck more than I thought. When my grandpa turned 80, I asked him when he first felt like a real adult. He said, I'll let you know. Apostrophe. Yeah we're all just winging it. So true. Thank god my kids haven't figured me out. A French to English alphabet. I seriously thought that you could convert them letter for letter, like some sort of cipher. How I thought this, I don't know, especially seeing as how my grandparents and my mom spoke Italian to each other regularly, and I knew that didn't have a letter for letter correlation.